The purpose of the symbol is to provide identity or image to an entity. Religion can have a multiple symbols which are considered essential and they provide a symbolic views of the various core values and the concept. Jainism symbols that signifies a different core values. Jains from across all the sect decided to have a single universal symbols. The outline of the Jain symbol represent lok. It's divided into three loks. The lower portion indicates adolok. It consists of the seven hell. The middle portion indicates madhyalok. It consists of the earth and the planets. Upper portion indicates Urdhvalok, it contains the heavenly abodes of the old celestial beings and the abodes of the Siddhas. The text at the bottom is the Prakrit text, which means live and let live. In other words, all living beings should help one another. The raised hands means to stop in the fearlessness. The word in the center of the will is ahimsa, means non-violence. Between these two, the remind us to stop for a minute and think twice before doing anything. This gives us to a chance to scrutinize our activities, to be sure that they will not hurt anyone by our words, thoughts or action. We are also not supposed to ask or encourage others to take part in any harmful activities. The will in the hand shows samsara that if we are not careful and ignore this warning and carry on violent activities, then just as the will goes round and round, we will go round and round through the cycle of birth and death. Twenty-four spokes represent the preaching of the twenty-four Tethankas. The forearms of the swastika remind us that during the cycle of birth and the death, we may be born into any one of the four destinies, heavenly being, human being, animal being, and the hellish being. Our aim should be liberation. Swastika reminds us that we should become the pillars of the fourfold chain sank, that is the sadhu, sadvis, shravak and the shravikas. First, we should strive to be the true shravak or the shravikas, and when we can overcome our social attachments, we should renounce the worldly life and follow the paths of the sadhu and the sadvis to be liberated. The three dots above the swastika represent Ratnatri, the three jewels of the Jainism. Samayak Darshan means the right faith, Samayak Gnat means the right knowledge, and the Samayak Charitra means right conduct. We should have all three, right knowledge, right faith, and the right conduct together, then only can we achieve liberation. At the very top part of the chain symbols is a small arched curve. This arc represents abodes of the Siddhas. It is known as the Siddha Shila. It is the final resting place of the liberated souls. The dot represents a Siddha. In order to achieve this stage, a soul must destroy all attached karmas. Every living being should be strived to be the stage of the salvation or the liberation.